Hello everyone, and today I'm going to teach you guys on how to reduce ping and MS while streaming, and how to reduce, you know, um, lag in general when streaming and playing games at the same time. So, the first thing that you want to do is make sure OBS is open, because we're going to be needing it. And then the next thing you want to open is your browser, and you want to search up testmy.net. This is to say upload speed test. And then the next thing that you want to do is go to upload speed test and, cut and click test my upload speed. After you do this, you make sure to click test the upload speed. And then it's just going to run various tests. And it's going to judge your connection. So right now I get an average of you know, 3.8 megabits per second, 4 megabits per second. So, this is my average speed. So, as you can see, on this upward speed, it goes down and up. Yeah. And the lowest it gets to is 2.6. And then, you know, it builds up. So, don't worry about this. Just worry about this. This is what, this is what you want to know about. Ah, okay. So, once you find what you have, um, you want to go to File, Settings, go to Stream, uh, right now I'm on reststream.io, this is just my stream provider, you know, if you have Twitch, it'll be different, if you have YouTube gaming, it'll be different, reststream is just good because I can stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time and they just restream it for me. I live in Australia, so my would be Australia Sydney, so if you live in Australia and you stream to Twitch, make sure that the server is set to Australia Sydney, or Brisbane, but so I need to apply output. Now output's good, um, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, I tend to use NV, if you have a stronger CPU, like a i7, and it's like 4 GHz or 3.8 GHz, or it's a high-end i7, use Time 6264, that's going to be using more CPU processor, but if you're playing games like Planet of Battlegrounds and high CPU in games, you're going to want to use NVNC HT264, which is your graphics card, and as you can see, I have a strong graphics card and I do my CPU. I have a 1060, so I'm going to be using HT264. Now, most of the time, if you have a really good computer and a really good internet connection, like I mean really good, you can stream at 1080, but mine's not good enough to stream at 1080, so I rescale my Apple to 1280 times 720. CBR, um, CBR is a good one. Um, if you have, it's called constant bitrate, which means it's gonna set this bitrate most of the time, about 90% of the time, whereas um, lost this code, it, it, it's just the most stable one. The other ones I don't really know, but they're not as good as CBR. So select CBR. Cost bitrate. Um, um, so this is where you want to put, you know, this. Now, you're not going to need any more than 2500 megabits per second. I mean, sorry, not 25. Yeah, 2500 megabits per second. Which is. I mean, 2,500 kilobytes per second. Sorry, sorry. Um, just so yeah, you know, you're not going to need any more than that. So in your bitrate, put down 2,500, and that will be enough for 720p. Trust me, you're not going to need any more because you're going to have to leave some megabits per second for you know some upload speed for, for your games. Now, if you have a low connection, so I'm saying like one megabits or lower. You're going to be wanting to put, you know, six, 600 kilobytes per second, and you're going to want to turn this to 480p because it's going to be too much um, for your internet to handle. So if you got like anything lower than one megabits per second, make sure this is on 600, 700. Make sure this is on 480p. Now it's not going to be, it's, it's going to make the stream look a little bit um, uglier, but it you know, it's not going to be too bad. Um, preset, um, if you want, um, 
if you have an okay connection like mine, I just leave mine on high performance, um, and it's fine. Um, you just make sure you know OBS is running good, and you know, but your games aren't getting affected at the same time. Um, low, latency, low latency, just leave this on. Um, if you've got a under one megabit connection or 1.5 megabit connection, put low latency on. Um, and this is gonna make sure your ping isn't affected when in game. Um, if you have a anything higher than one megabits per, per, per megabits per second for upload, um, put on low latency, high performance. This is gonna make everything a lot better. Or if you got a bit more megabits to spare and a decent computer, put low latency, high quality. Just, just funk around with those settings and you got to find one that you like. Profile, put that on main. Level, auto. Um, GPU, zero. B frames, two. Um, then you're going to go to your audio tab. And then you're going to go to video. Alright, now this is where you, you, you have most of um, your, your video settings. Alright. In your base canvas resolution, resolution most of your, most of the time you're seeing is going to be 1920 by 1080. If you have a 1920 by 1200 more or not, um, then you can rescale. For example, you can rescale it to 1152 times 720 or 1280 by 800. If you've got a f if you if you've got enough time stream 480p. Then stream at 768 times 480 if you got a 1200 monitor, and if you got a 1080 monitor, stream at 852 times 480. Now, downscale filter. Um, I use I put mine on um, B cubic. It just sharpens it a bit. Um, if you've got a decent computer, um, an okay internet over one megabit, you can leave it on landscapes. Um, I just live on a bike here because it's the middle one, you know, it doesn't affect the quality of the thing, it will does it just sharpens the image and gets rid of those um those those little textures, that's all. How they're scattered sometimes, but you know, I had a hope on side of on a bike cubic, which you know, the lower it is, the more performance you have and the lower internet you have on your computer, you know, the more is more bandwidth, you know. I just leave one by cubic. Common FPS uh, values I leave one on 30. If you have a strong computer and you have you know a really good internet connection like over five megabits per second, I would put it. You can put it on 60. I just leave one on 30 because it's fine like that. Advanced um, process priority leave it on normal. Um, Direct 3D 11 unless you have a lower graphics card then put it on 10. Um, now, a network. This is the most important one if you get a lower internet connection. Um, and if you're under one thing is, you can turn it in there when you network your code and turn the low latency mode on. Now, all this is going to do is make sure the bandwidth you have is, you know, used correctly and that you're not lagging out your game and you're not lagging out your stream as well. But it's going to make the you know stream a kind of bit ugly. But it'll be fine. It's going to be watchable. You know, I've seen a lot of streamers that you've just said and they don't have a problem with it. So, you know, turn it on, have a try, if you don't like it, turn it off, and then comment on my video if you have a problem with it. Anyway, um, just apply those settings and then OK, and then you're ready to stream. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, you know, have any comments in the comment section feel free to hit me up and say hey you know this isn't working for me and I'll try my best to help you out anyway guys take it easy you know have a good one see you in the next video peace